Hey, it's Pasties Prime here. Welcome back to Ixion. We're continuing our first campaign playthrough of this game. Still trying to learn the ropes and all that sort of stuff. Trying to get the food balance right and, and the workers, which <laughs> is a nightmare at the moment. And alloys, which is an absolute nightmare. Because everything needs to be built with it. And yeah, it just doesn't stretch as far as we need so right now we have our level to optimal uh but we are not running our lab and we're not running our cryopod right now we could turn the cryopod on and we have enough workers for that but i've stopped it for a moment because we are homeless so we're building a new building uh, I'm building another one over here as well because we need to dump some more non-workers over here. I would love to get another dock. Uh, but it costs a lot and you need a lot of workers. And it all compounds because then I add more people over here then I'm going to have to add more food which requires more workers. And so on and so forth. So forth. Um... We are going to have to look at adding some more solar soon. But I want to get our hull integrity up before I do that. We've then got to fly over to Jupiter, get into orbit, because we want to mount the Ixion, I guess, to our vol jump thing, engine. And, uh, you know, maybe some time we'll take off and because we'll be in orbit of Jupiter, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll shatter Jupiter next. You know, why not? We've done the moon. Let's destroy Jupiter and, and Jupiter's moons. I'm sure there's some moons there that we can destroy. Anyway, enough uh, has completed its scan. complaining about that. Let's just have a look. All right, I think we've got enough, <laughs> enough resources out here right now. Uh, yeah, so... We will do that, but we'll do that low priority with that. That can also be low priority. Uh, iron is our major thing right now. We do have to get these cryopods in, but... I can't do anything right this moment until we get this all under bloody control. An accident which, has occurred in the typhoon. Which is not good when this happens. Uh, now extracts. Oh, that's nice. Has been disabled in sector two to, to an incident. Oh, come on. All right, we got an accident in two places. Okay, we're still we're still okay with our infirmaries. This one's getting a bit tight, but we do have four people coming out in a minute. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Uh, we're getting a bit low on numbers. It's 206, 219. Yeah, you turn the cryopods on. I'm trying to get the alloys out pretty quickly, but we can't even get the uh, iron in quick enough. All right, we're now getting a decent stock of food. Hull is coming up. So you could easily take 15 non-workers. Right, let's do that. So let's take non-workers from there. Let's take 15 over. So that should mean that I can get another bunch of people out. So 
Let's turn that on. We're just under. Population transfer complete. You're saying we need 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. That should be enough. Now, I did say I wanted more batteries. I'd also like a new... Hmm. So you only have five spare workers. Hmm, you've only got two houses left. Fourteen. Man, we're going to need another one soon. Alright, let's just get this whole integrity... Let's get up to 900 and then I'll be happy. Because this has to stop for us to build solar panels. Are we going to have homeless again? Two thirty, so we've got nine extra workers now. That's a bit better. I mean, these things need so much. I mean, 30 people. Jeez. Okay, hull integrity's up. All right, let's come out here and let's build. All right, what do we need? 45 and 1. That's not much, actually, is it? All right, let's see what happens. How long will that take? I'm gonna wait for the parts to come in. Okay, they're all in. Because I would like to do the other one, if we could do it. We have enough parts. Actually, we are down below 100 now. Mm. It's very expensive, isn't it? Okay, maybe we wait. Maybe we wait. 53. That's pretty good. Let's pause. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn that one off. I'm going to make that cryopods.
All right, we have run out again. Could get a couple there. You know what, you can't do anything here. We're going to waste that spot. There's nothing we can do there anyway. I'm thinking we could have redesigned this because you've got this spot here. Really, you could take the road down there. You can even just double white it. sure the purpose but you could do it going to do a few things to tweak some layouts here. Man, we're going to be out of houses before, before you know it. We still do not have anywhere near enough for 30. I'll get that built. Let's put that in there. Building not connected. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot. That needs to have a road there. Whoops. Okay, we can't do what I just did. Dismantle. Mm, big whoops. I was thinking you could go on any side, but you can't. You can go on the front. Uh, how long does it take to pull something down?
Okay. Based on that, we're going to take that concept back. Ah, Jesus. Okay. Uh, we've now got 20 workers. We need another 10. What have we got over here? An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Well, you know, it was going to happen. It was always bound to happen. Alright, so that's back up and working. Yeah, I was going to move that, but... Oh, come on. Come on, seriously? Jeez, we're cutting a fine with people's injuries over there. We're still struggling a little here. Yeah, that's still good. Yeah, basically, you could get two workers over there if you wanted to, or non workers. What did I say? If I had. It'd be 12. We have 30 now. So I could turn that on. Okay, what do we re research? Ah, we have enough. Put out fires. Uh, transform waste into alloys. don't think people are going to like that. That, we need water. We haven't got to water yet. But maybe we could do the mushroom wall. Because we are going to have waste. Okay, let's start with that. We are optimal just okay 31 food we're only making 30 though 5 10 15 20 25 30 yeah i think we need to move this side That's three wide, that's four wide. You can put batteries. Doesn't really matter. How's the batteries? They're all the same. Oh, 
let's build another one of those. So I said I could get two over here. Okay, over here we've now got a few extras, all right. I'm gonna take five non-workers and then I want more workers. We're going to hope that it works out. Population transfer complete. Okay, sector one still has three homeless. Alright, they got four extra workers. I'm trying to think if there's a good place for this. I mean, we could put it all the way over there. Okay, we sort of want 15. Okay, mushroom's done. We haven't got any research left to do anything else. So let's hold. Hold. What's a mushroom wall look like? Oh, it has to be on the outside. 
Okay. I don't know why that thing there is showing red. So we could put it here. It's a lot of alloys to build all this. Uh, I didn't check how many workers. That's 10. God, we need like 20 workers. All right, well, let's start by moving uh, only workers. 10 over. I don't know what we'll do after that. Um, there's not really much point doing that unless you've got water. I don't know how... What would that do? I mean, would that really upset people? Houses up to 125 crew members in minimal quality accommodation. I don't know. It doesn't sound great. I mean, that one there as well, I'm curious if that was what I did next. Colonists are trains in groups of 15 every five cycles using one electronics. Now, we don't have electronics. We would have to... Population transfer complete. Mm. It's one of those things, isn't it? I don't know, maybe we'll wait until we can actually afford something. Okay, so we've got optimal here. We've still got a few left. And over here, we don't want to get too many. We need to just get enough. Okay, we need a road. I'm going to do that at the moment. I don't know what we're really going to do with it. Now, do we need to transfer waste over here? How does it work? Hang on. So, if that's the case, do we... Do we, like, build a stockpile? Oh, that can't get built either. Hang on. One, two, three. So let's make sure if we get a house. Doesn't really matter, does it? It's going to get wasted regardless. Wait, did I miss? Yeah, I missed the line. It's not going to get built without that.
We will get the waste dump built first, I think. Okay, so we got homeless again. Uh... Okay, we could easily bring over another five workers. A little bit at a time. We might need to think about turning this off. So we're saying we need 32 food. We've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Not 32. Population transfer complete. Okay, we want you. Wait. To be able to manage waste, the right policy has to be selected for the sector. Are you kidding me? Are you telling me we have to build this to be able to manage waste? Then how the hell does a mushroom farm work? Where the hell does it get to waste from? Oh, come on, man. You've got to be kidding me, don't you? How do you control sector policies? Right, well, I guess we might find out that we wasted our time. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Okay, that was not used anyway at the moment. Yeah, so we might have found out that we didn't need that and we've made a mistake. I can't find these things out unless I do stuff. Ah, our mining ship is getting maintenance work done. What is happening? So you've still got... You've still got enough. Why do they happen all at the same time? It's like they're on the same timer. Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. Okay, so that's saying we need 16 food now, and we're only making 15. I don't know. Unless we don't need to store the waste for the mushroom farm, and it automatically just works. Whatever waste we're creating, it will use. I don't know. I guess we'll find out once it's built. Till then, we ain't gonna know nothing.
All I know is we have tons of people that are not working. All right, you know what? We're going to move because this is just uh, getting a little bit just boring, doing nothing. So, we're going to move the tycoon over to uh, Jupiter. All power from the main grid will be diverted to the EXP systems during the 2.3 cycle tycoon movement. Sectors will be powered by batteries during this time. Hang on, before we do that, let's have a look. 2.3. That is exactly 2.3. That's 3.3. Two, having that exact is a little bit scary. Would have liked a little bit of a buffer. But I don't know. It's like 40 alloys. Jesus Christ. Christ. Mm hmm. Well, well, it says it can do it. Let's go. That a beautiful sight. Yes, please don't smash into Earth. You've already destroyed enough. Okay, we're running off batteries. Hopefully we are not going to be fine. I mean, you could probably shut stuff down to save power, but... It's trying to meet up with us. Power is back on. Yay! We made it without crashing. Uh, crashing our power, I meant. Uh, I'm assuming we did not crash as well. Okay, so once the Tycoon has reached Jupiter orbit, the Seagulls team will work with Tycoon engineers to prepare the Exxon engine for connection to the station. The older, faulty engine will be removed. Okay. Well, let's do it. Hopefully, that will give us uh, our hundred back. But I don't know for sure. Since we're not using that, let's just turn it off. Save power and people.
Right, we're getting close to this. We're going to see if we wasted our resources or not. Hoping not. And then it might come over here and start building this. Okay, you're down to three people in there. And you're down to three people. Well, that's... That's bloody good. Working together, the crew of the Tycoon and Team of the Seagull have prepared Ixion for connection. Final attachment protocols can be initiated via EVA lock. The Seagull's team will dismantle the Hephaestus site and salvage as many resources as possible or we can leave it. No, let's dismantle it. I would like to take whatever we can take, we will take. Okay, so hang on a second. We have a transmission. Administrator, we have received a transmission from the Hephaestus PA, Olympia. Tycoon, Ixion is now in orbit and ready for installation. You are not designed to calculate your own vol coordinates. Ixion will only permit you to use previously generated coordinates or to follow the vol signatures of others that have crossed self-similar space. To make your existence worthwhile, you will need to find the coordinates of the exoplanet that Protagoras is looking for. Remus. Vanya was right about the echoes of the future. I bestow upon you this miracle, and with it, release myself so that I may embrace the sleep that was stolen from me. Okay. Robot suicide. <laughs> um... Okay, so it said we could do it from the EVA. No, that's the probe launch. Oh, do we have to, like, go out? Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. Right, you need two of those and 30 polymers to extract that. The last engine built by Dolos, the first designed by Frouse teams. Okay. It's going to stop our hull for a little bit. So be it. We will prepare it. So we just got to follow in the footsteps of somebody else. We can't just jump our own coordinates as we so choose. Yeah, we're getting low on electronics, aren't we? That's a bit scary. That means we should start thinking about building something to make electronics. Well, we've still got to get the pods on board anyway before anything happens.
Oh, this is up and running. A new request awaits your attention. Administrator, we are ready to follow the traces of the Protagoras through self-similar space using the frequencies recovered from Outer Hope's black box. Vol systems have been adapted for the new Ixian class engine. The Tycoon is now fully equipped to pursue our main objective. Ensure humanity's survival by finding the habitable exoplanet named Remus. Okay, see, I don't think this is going to do anything. Hang on. Neo protocols are online. Stanford checks have been passed. The Exion Energy engine is fully integrated with token systems and we're ready for ignition. Bold jump coordinates can only be generated by computational machinery utilizing frost tachyons, a particle found in self similar space. These calculations are one of the most valuable and best kept secrets of Dolos. Administrator, we have the jump coordinates to reach the last known location of Protagoras. Acknowledged. So I'm assuming that's not... Yeah, it's not a new... Question mark one. So we just basically perform a vol jump, which we're not going to do. Not yet, because we have too much to do here yet before we go and do that. And we want to do that. We want to wait till that's fixed up. I'd love to get a battery in here. That is another 40 alloys. Uh, yeah, this here, uh, I believe, is wasted. Because I can't do waste management. So this does nothing. A science ship team has completed a task. Our team has salvaged a number of user resources from the Vesta site. These are now ready for extraction. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, hang on. We've got one about waste. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Systems jump Ixion. All right. Ixion is an upgraded engine based on the Vol engine. A few more decades of research and development has overcome the many issues its predecessor had. Similarly, the Ixion engine requires time to charge before being able to perform a jump. During this time, all of the Tycoon's power is redirected towards the engine. Batteries will activate for the duration of the charge if present. If your battery is empty during this period and a blackout occurs, it will automatically be resolved at the end of the charging period. Traveling to a new planetary system requires jump coordinates. These coordinates can be determined from vol jumps made by other vessels. Your expedition teams will be instrumental to finding the clues left in the wake of these vessels passing and guide you to your next destination. To charge the Exion engine, click on the Exion button located at the bottom of your screen on the planetary system map view. When the charge is finished, a commence jump confirmation window will appear. Each vol jump permanently damages the hull of the Tycoon, resulting in a reduction to its maximum integrity value. Each vol jump also results in a permanent increase to the station's hull depletion rate. Increasing the ongoing difficulty of maintaining the hull. Oh my god. Okay, so it's one of those. Mm. Okay, so that's going to be a nightmare. So hull damage is going to get continuously get permanently damaged more and more. So you're never going to recover that hundred that you lost. You're going to lose more each jump you do. And each time you do a jump, you're going to lose more integrity as you go, which means you need to be repairing more each time. Otherwise, you are just going to get into this diminishing returns loop thing where you are just going to explode, basically, I would say. Fun. 
All right. What did it say about waste? Waste is a production building by... What? Waste is a production building byproduct. Oh, okay. Factories clogged. With each production batch, most buildings would generate waste. If your policies are set to automatically dispose of it, buildings will periodically require a purge cycle to get rid of excess waste. Waste can be recycled using a waste treatment center and other recycling related buildings. It can be transformed into most refined resources. That didn't tell me anything. So, let's pause. How do you stop automatic waste dumpage? Where's the damn policies? I don't see any policies. I don't see any way to set policies. I mean, that's the game menu. That's not. See, you need to research policies, I would say, before you can even do it. Waste heat recovery. You do not have enough science points. So hang on. Are these... These are not under them? Waste heat... I'm confused. Are these hidden... Controlled thermal group D. Uh, are these hidden? Oh, you're kidding me. There's research under every research. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Did it say that somewhere? Because I sure as heck didn't know that. Oh my god. Okay, here I am jumping up to all of these. Oh, God. Okay. So. See, I could have had, I could have been housing 40 people in one building. Freaking kidding me. I could be five more beds in the infirmary. Uh, food could be growing quicker. Mesh hall can be accommodating 20% more. Oh my god, I can't believe there is all this research and I did not have any of it. And now I can't get it back. And even the... Like the steel mill. Power cost is reduced by two. Waste heat recovery, no. That's not what I want. What, what do I want? Stockpiles. I still can't find the thing about the waste, though.
Yeah, see, I shouldn't have researched any of that stuff. Okay, well, I still don't see anything that helps me. I can't believe that. I really cannot believe that. We could have done that. Because what do we, what do we call these? Are they called average... Crew quarters. How's up to 15 crew members in limited quality accommodation? Now, again, does it say... Like, is there anything about what that means? So I guess it can drop the the stability. But if our stability is okay, I mean it's neutral at the moment. Oops. Ah, oh, God. Okay, well, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that now. We blew all the science on stuff we didn't need to create stuff to, yeah, to not be able to do stuff we did. This is a waste. We can't do anything with it. Now, we could just turn it off or we could dismantle it and get everything back. I am going to dismantle it. We don't need it. Alright, let's get this sucker moving. Okay, so we've got to get the pods in. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Oh my god. Okay. 15 crew members were injured? Are you kidding me? Um. We have three that cannot be fixed at the moment. Oh, shoot. And we can't move them between sectors? Oh, come on. Seriously, why do they happen at exactly the same time? Every time there's an injury in each sector at the same time. Hang on. Is that saying they are now getting healed? We just had enough come out at that time. 15, that's massive. How did we get to 20 research?
Alright, let's just check. So there's nothing that costs 20, right? No, it looks like 30 is your minimum. Alright, 30 is your minimum. Alright, this is about to be built. That's mainly because we're pulling that down. Can't afford to have another accident. Now, what do we want? I mean, I really want... I don't really need another science ship. Okay, how are we? We are optimal. And we are optimal over here. Let's pause. Okay, so if we do a cargo ship, it's 20 polymers. Uh, let's not get greedy. Let's do two for now. Okay, you may get to the point where you want a uh, mining ship or another science ship. Who knows? across polymers so I need sector 2 polymers so we want at least 10 I think that took, didn't it? Yep. Can't believe we can't do anything about bloody waste. Now, you can have, oh, you can have different priorities. Okay, good, good, good. Because what I want to do is I want you to get the cryopods. So 
So you can do that low. Middle of the road, middle of the road. I don't know where we're going to store all this stuff. I mean, obviously we'll put that to high. Something like that. It's not going to work for housing, is it? We'll have a similar similar policy. Yeah, I know I haven't got any storage for that yet. We'll get there. We're short of workers? Why does it say optimal though? Okay, we are going to make sure that we can also transfer. I'm not really going to have a minimum. Export to one. Wait, why? Hang on, we're not exporting. We're going to export that one. We're not going to export cryopods. Okay, that makes more sense.
Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, can we... Can we move five uh, workers over? Well, we did have 500. Complete. Okay, why is there stability low? Having more unopened cryopods than crew in the sector, and the death of Earth for spending too long in the system. Well, that's Parker. I'd say, why are people not getting transferred over there? We're activating it. I don't know. I'll set that to 10. And over here, we'll just say maximum. The export, recent import. It should work, shouldn't it? Oh, there we go. Ah, that way we'll fill up these ones first. Okay, we've got tons of alloy over there now. So maybe what we could do now is increase this.
All right, we're going to be full here. People. An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. Where? Oh, there. Oh, bugger. Oh, we are getting a ton out in a minute. And the insect farm. See? Every time. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. No more resources available to mine. Yeah, it's ironic. There's an accident in each sector at exactly the same time. Every time. Why have we now got extra working conditions? Possibly we could shut one of these down. Okay, so why will it not fill up the other side regardless? But just because I set the minimum, I'm not setting the maximum, am I? All right, we have gone way over time. We're going to have to call it there for this video. Uh, this game's very obsessive, like all these sort of games. Uh, I need to get these stuff under control. I don't know whether I'll just keep playing for a little bit, but we won't be doing anything substantial. We definitely will not be jumping or anything like that. Um, I'm tempted to get our power up again. Again, I'd love to get a battery in here. I mean, maybe we could do another battery... having a look doesn't really matter to be honest whether it goes there or there I mean maybe you could even put two in here I don't know we might need more people will we go with the one all right so this one here is also going to be iron we're going to fill that up there's no way we're going to get enough iron in here from there uh 
Unless we convert one of these over. Yeah, anyway, okay. So, if you like the channel and you want to support it further, check the description below. There's a link to a Patreon site and a link to a virtual coffee site. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out immensely, and I really do appreciate the support. Most importantly, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the game. Let me know what you think of how I'm playing. And... Um, yeah, let me know if you're playing and how you're going and that sort of thing. Uh, just avoid story spoilers, but other than that, talk about anything you like. And feel free to give me advice, tips, anything that you've found that works, doesn't work, all that sort of stuff. And I read all the comments and answer every comment that warrants an answer as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.